Alright, so we've got it installed. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to basically, so I'm not gonna install that right now just so you can see how to start it up yourself. Basically, you just go to the command line. Uh, you're gonna wanna log in as root. Okay, uh, it's because of the way the users are set up on uh, in the MySQL table. You'll, I'll show you that um, too. So just log in right here. Okay, and basically you just want to type in uh, user slash low. It's it's really it's right here. Except this this command runs the MySQL daemon. I mean the my MySQL. Uh, like console, if you will. But right now we have to actually start uh, the daemon. So you type in user local um, MySQL. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Then MySQL D save. Now this basically starts in save mode. Oh, user local MySQL bin MySQL D C. Okay, and boom, it's it's that's how you do start it. You get this, it says some stuff. Um, and then so basically you can hit uh, control Z, okay, to get out of that uh, sort of thing there. And then you can basically log in. I mean, then you can basically run the MySQL uh, interface by typing in that. Okay, so now, now MySQL is running on your computer. Now, if you had installed this, that first step would have been taken care of. Except it wouldn't have been uh, started in save mode. Uh, we're just starting save mode right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, I think it has to do with transactions and stuff, but don't worry about that right now. I guess right now basically uh, we'll issue some queries here to say show databases. Or show databases. Okay, and these are the kind of the pre you know David uh, database that come with the software. Um, a test one just to throw test in there. Information schema. Uh, we're not gonna really get into that right now, but um, a MySQL uh, database. Basically what you're gonna want to do you're going to want to select, you can hit select all from MySQL. And this will show you, um, oh, you got to connect um, MySQL first. You got to connect to the database. And then you can then you can issue this query, uh, select all from MySQL. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the database. So you got to say show tables. And I'll show you all the tables in in the MySQL database. And this is where your users are going to be stored. So this is where you can edit users um, and privileges and stuff um, with, to the database. Uh, so this isn't really about that though. So we're just going to go right in and this is some default things you should do. Um, we'll say select all from user. And it's going to give you all this crazy stuff, okay? But really what we just need, we just need to select all, we need to select host user password uh, from uh, user, okay? Now we gotta separate those by commas. Okay. And so that just basically gives you a better uh, preview because the rest of these, these are all privileges and stuff. Okay, so now you have all these different uh, users that can log in um, that we kind of want to get rid of because that means any, basically anybody from the local host can log in, um, anybody, and there's no passwords or anything, and anything from your actual domain. Um, so basically we're going to get rid of all these except for this local host root, and we're, we're going to give them a password. Um, so basically you can do that, you can say delete from user where uh, user 
equals that. And that'll take care of those two empty ones. Okay, sorry, yeah. Now take care of those two empty ones, so you can slay that and basically delete these two, okay? So you don't want those. Uh, and you also don't want these two either, because there's no password. Like for now, you don't want them. Um, so we could say delete from user where, um, where host equals you know, 127.0.0, the one, it takes care of that one. And then the very last one, I'm just gonna see if I can copy and paste that. Uh, delete from user where host equals that. Okay, so now we should have just the, basically what this says is root user on the local host can log in, but we, we have to give them a password. So we're gonna say update user, table user, update table user, uh, set password equals, and we're gonna throw in a password function to give it uh, like a hash. So you can't actually see, okay? So we're gonna say, um, for now we're just gonna say, uh, secret, okay? That's gonna be your password. We're gonna say, update user table, set password equals password, uh, secret, where uh, user equals root, okay? So now we can say select host user from user, and now you see you've got this, you know, uh, this crazy hash, or whatever it is, um, and the password fields. Now, whenever you go to log in, whenever you go to use MySQL, uh, you're gonna have to provide a password. So what we can do, so we're gonna exit out and I'll show you an example of that. Okay, so now we're back into our root user um, in the terminal. So say we want to use MySQL again. Okay, we say something like that, and we're well, automatically in. Okay. Because what I didn't do is um, have to type in flush privileges. Okay, now we'll exit. And I'll try to log in again. Okay, so yeah, you have to flush privileges to uh, kind of commit those changes we did up there. Okay, and so basically, so now back to the thing. I tried to use my SQL again, tried to start it up. I tried to log into the, the interface and it said access denied for user root at local host using password no. That's because I didn't say, I didn't specify uh, what, what you need to specify, which is like this. You have to say minus u user root, okay? And then you have to say minus p for I use password. Okay, so you can hit enter and prompt you for the password our password is secret, you type that in, so I'm gonna show you. Hit enter, and voila. So now, um, nobody can get to your MySQL uh, interface. Nobody can get to your databases through MySQL without um, that password, okay? And so now, basically, we are going to, um, we're gonna enable uh, MySQL for, um, for use of PHP, okay? And so this is gonna be kind of a separate tutorial, so thanks for watching, and I hope you understood, all right? Flavor, play!